support provided by the Chesapeake and Newport News with chef-centric farm-to-table dining. The Chesapeake.org. Hi friends, Jay Sennett. Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jay here in the Jazz Kitchen. Hope all of you are doing well. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to prepare for you kind of a twist on bourbon chicken, right? And when I came up with the idea, bourbon chicken, let me pull out some bourbon. Well, I didn't have any bourbon, <laughs> but I did have some brandy, some cognac, some rum. Uh, so I thought, well, let's use some cognac to substitute for the bourbon that we do not have. It's, um, so I, I got some chicken breast, boneless chicken breast. I diced it up here and as a light coating, I, I season it first with salt, black pepper, some onion powder, some garlic powder. Um, and then I, there's a light coat of cornstarch over these chicken pieces. I cut the pieces up, one, two inch, or two inch pieces, and season them, then put some cornstarch in them to, um, to coat the chicken pieces, okay? Now, let's make this sauce. Um, we're gonna use about, well, let's see, about a, a third, it's the third a cup recipe. <laughs> Got about a third a cup of some soy sauce. I use low sodium soy sauce. About a third cup of this brandy. No, this is cognac, excuse me. Cognac, woo! Is that about a third a cup? Mm, let me see, uh, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of apple cider vinegar. A couple tablespoons of that. I'm gonna add some brown sugar. About three tablespoons of some brown sugar. Then you want to add some chicken broth. About a third of a cup of that. Now we want to stir it up. Get the chicken dissolved. Put this over there on the fire. And what's the last ingredient? We're going to put some cornstarch in here as well. So like maybe a, a, a tablespoon, a small tablespoon of cornstarch in here, in the sauce. Stir this around. Well, so you can get the cornstarch blended and get the sugar dissolved a little bit. Okay, so let's go over here to the stove and start putting this together. Chicken cooking. All right, I've got my rice over here. Okay, I have some. I just have some olive oil in the pan. Let's turn this up. Not as hot as I thought it was going to be. Okay, this should be frying. Very hot. The rice is boiling. Turn down the rice. Okay, break the pieces up because they will stick together once you put that cornstarch in there. All right. So, I started this, the idea, with, oh, there's the rice, I knew it was going to do that, um, with the idea with some bourbon, okay? Didn't have any bourbon, so I thought, well, what can we substitute for some bourbon? <laughs> so, I went through the... Uh, It's not the wines, the liquor cellar, <laughs> the liquor cabinet. And to see what I had, and I had some cognac, some brandy, some rum, a couple of different variations of rum. 
you know, some dark rum. One, was it 151 proof, something like that? No, we're not going to make that. <laughs> the chicken with the fat. Um, but let me rinse this real fast while that's cooking over there. Because I'm going to take the chicken out. So we're calling this chicken with cognac. Okay. Chicken with cognac. And I have some rice over here cooking. Some basmati rice. Yeah, it's starting to cook nicely now. Again, break up the pieces. Because the cornstarch will have it sticking together over a medium high heat. And I'm just cooking it with some olive oil. Um, so, uh, once this chicken is done, which will be another couple of minutes, I'm going to put some onions and some garlic and some ginger. Hmm. Grated up some ginger, some minced up, some finely minced up garlic. I'm going to put in here. Um, make some onions, or well, chop up some onions, not make some onions. <laughs> Can you make an onion? No. I don't think so. Um, that's the sound I want to hear. Well, I should have heard that when we first started. Again, season it with salt, pepper, boneless chicken breast, diced up, and I season it with some salt. I use black garlic pepper, but you can just use black pepper, okay? Uh, some onion powder, some garlic powder. Oh, I, I put a little bit of smoked paprika in the chicken as well, okay? Because I like to flavor the, the protein. Ouch! I like to flavor the protein well. Because sometimes the sauce doesn't come out like you, you would uh, hope. Get my spoon. You have it on low heat, and it still cooks like it's on high heat. Why it does that? All right, just just a smidgen longer, and I'm using my wok, and the heat is really intense in the wok, particularly in the center part of it. So it cooks your food fairly quickly because of the intense heat. Okay. This chicken is just about done. Okay, put this over here. Maybe it's about 30, 40 seconds longer. And the sauce, it's kind of, um, it's, it's, it's in the Asian tradition, of, you know, the, 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 the sweet, sour. Actually, I want to add, I just thought of this too, if I can find them. Handily, this meal is some crushed red pepper flakes. Ah, there we go. And my sauce. Just put a few little dabs of some crushed red pepper flakes in the sauce. Okay. All right, so there's a pinch of heat in there. All right, my chicken's done. Yep. Okay. Check it out. Use a slotted spoon. There's still some oil in here. You don't have to worry about scraping up all the bits. So what I want to put in here now, the onions. Yes. Okay, some onions. 
Uh, just a touch more oil, not much. Use this, not as noisy. All right, now I want to add some garlic. Where's my little spoon? Here we go, over here. Some garlic, yes. And some freshly grated ginger. That rice is boiling up again. All right. Just for one, two, three minutes. Because you don't want to burn the garlic. Okay? So you get the onions to where the onions are translucent a bit. Mm -mm -mm. Smelling garlic and ginger. Okay, so onions, garlic, and ginger in here. Cooking nicely. All right. Now, we're going to add Le sauce. Again, stir it up well. We have some cornstarch in here. Now the slime of stones not going to work that well there, so we get. Uh, hmm. Where is it? This will start to thicken up just a bit. This cognac sauce. You can smell that cognac. Now you gotta be careful too because it could, you know, flame up when you first put it in. It's not gonna do that now. Okay, and it's starting to get thicker because of that cornstarch. My rice is almost done over here. I just want to let this cook just for a minute. Yep, it's getting thick. Starting to. Now I want to add the chicken back to this. Oh man. There you go. to do is a little sampling of this sauce. Oh man. Mm. Wow. That's better than I thought it was going to be. I knew it was going to be good, but it's better than I thought it was going to be. Okay. All right, we are done with that, ladies and gentlemen. And last but not least, let's just put some scallions on top of that. Mm, mm, mm. You can put it in the bowl, but I'm going to do it now. Okay, pretty much as a garnish, but of course you get the flavor of the scallions as well. This, my friends, chicken with cognac. It is delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's go back over to the counter because I'm not going to plate that right yet. Not going to plate it right yet, but whew, see how quickly I put that together. That was that was uh, fairly easy. You know, a, a, a thousand ways to make chicken. Right? <laughs> it's a lot of truth of that, man. Chicken, you can make chicken. A whole bunch of different ways and chances are you're not going to go wrong so my plan was to again to initially make some bourbon chicken all right 
I'd made I would have made it the same way, with the exception I didn't have any bourbon. So I use cognac instead. You can also use brandy. You can also use rum, um, or apple juice if you just don't want to put any alcohol in it. You know, there are a lot of different substitutes you can you can you can do with it. But again, but you make it the same way. All right. So and serve with rice. <clears throat> I'm cooking some basmati rice with this. Uh, garnish with some chopped up scallion. And uh, you know, with the flavors, with the with the ginger, the garlic, uh, the chicken broth, the the uh, cognac, the soy sauce, the brown sugar, right? There's, you get you get some really nice flavors, and the corn starch to thicken it up a little bit. Um, that's that's it's layered nicely, so you get some really good flavor profiles in there. All right, that's what's happening on this edition of Cooking with Jay from the Jazz Kitchen. Thank you for watching. Cooking with Jay airs Sunday evening starting at 6 on the WHO Public Media Facebook page. And I want to thank the Chesapeake for your support of Cooking with Jay and WHRO and WHRVFM. Also, check out Senate in Session Monday through Thursday nights, my jazz show, 9 until 1. Saturday mornings, 1 until 5, for those of you who can't sleep. And Sunday afternoons from 1 until 5, Senate in Session, great jazz. And my other show, The Very Soulful classic soul program, the R&B Chronicles, Friday nights from 7 until 8 on WHRVFM 89.5. Okay, friends, I'm going to go plate, have some dinner, and be safe out there until the next edition of Cooking with Jay. We'll see you then. Take care. Support provided by the Chesapeake in Newport News catering to the palate of every single resident. More at thechesapeake.org.